Big Hero 6, Nighttime of Fires, written by Gail Herman, illustrated by the Disney Storybook. It was late at night, but Hiro Hamada was wide awake. He was working in his lab at the San Francisco Institute of Technology. Hiro hunched over his computer. He was trying to solve a problem, but nothing was working. Frustrated, he leaned back in his chair. The chair tipped over, throwing Hiro to the ground. Ouch, he cried. Baymax, Hero's personal health care companion, stepped forward. Baymax was a robot built by Hero's older brother, Tadashi. It was Baymax's job to help people when they were injured. I was alerted to your need of help when you said ouch, Baymax said. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain? I'm Ben, Baymax, Hero said quickly, getting up. Baymax scanned Hero from top to bottom. Your energy levels are low. You appear to need rest. Sleep is essential for good health and for a mental acuity. With another word, Baymax turned and left the lab. When he came back, he was holding a glass of warm milk. The average 14-year-old needs approximately 9.2 hours of sleep each night, he said, pointing to a sleep chart that had appeared on the display of his stomach. Baymax held out. The glass of milk. Milk contains enzymes that aid in relaxation and help patients fall asleep. Hero rubbed his eyes. I can't sleep, Baymax. I need to finish this. It's important. Hero was building a high-tech firefighting device. It would scan the city for the first sign of fire and shoot a stream of chemicals at the flame to put it out. The chemical mixture would also prevent another fire from starting. I don't want anyone else to... Hero stopped short, thinking about his brother Tadashi had died in a fire. If you finish the project, will it help you sleep? Baymax asked. Yes, Hero said, but I can't seem to get it right. Watch. Hero sat back down on his computer and pressed some buttons. In a special testing chamber in the corner of his labs, a few pieces of paper in a trash can began to smoke. Hero typed more instructions. His firefighting device lifted into the air, but by the time it reached the papers, the smoke had turned off into a full-blown fire. See, Hero said to Baymax, it's way too slow. The device sprayed a green liquid at the can. The fire sputtered out, but a whole horrible odor filled the air. The container was melting, plus the spray is too, so strong it ruins everything it touches, Hero said. He entered the testing chamber to examine the damage and accidentally stepped into the melted plastic. Ouch! Hot! Hero cried, hopping on one foot. Baymax scans Hero again. Your neutral indicators show extreme agitation. You will not be able to sleep in this state. Hero picked up his device and examined it closely. What could make it move faster? What would fix the spray? Just then, the door to Hero's lab burst open and his friends walked in. Go, go, Wasabi and Honey Lemon were also students at San Francisco Institute of Technology. They had been hard at working in their labs, too. Their friend Fred had been hanging out with them. Along with Hero and Baymax, they formed the super group Big Hero 6. Hey, man, Fred said. Looks like you could use some help. Hero shook his head. No one helped Tadashi build Baymax. No offense, guys. I just want to do this alone. Besides, you have your own projects to think about. Hiro held open the door to his lab and waited for his friends to leave. Then he shut the door behind them and locked it. Your stress level has increased, Baymax told Hiro. Perhaps you would like a glass of milk. Not now, Baymax, Hiro said. He had work to do. Hiro mixed chemicals together and worked up a new model. Then he placed the device back into the testing chamber. In the chamber, a piece of wood began to glow red hot. The new device checked the smoke and sprayed the burning amber. With a hiss and the fire went out. Not bad, Hero said. Suddenly, the wood burst into flames. Hero pressed a button. Water poured down, putting the fire out. Outside the lab, Hero's friends watched as he tried dozens of device, different devices and chemical combinations. Finally, Baymax stepped in front of Hero. Studies show that brainstorming with friends is useful when solving problems, he said. Hero looked at his friends. You might, you're right, Baymax. Let them in. Baymax opened the door and Gogo, Honey, Fred, and Wasabi fell into the room in a jumbled heap. Fred popped up first. He put his arm around Hero. We were Tadashi's friends too, he said. We want to help. Looking at Fred's lopsided grin, Hero could help but smile back. 
The rest of the guys have some great ideas, Fred continued. Take a look at some of the stuff they come up with. Gogo flung a silver disc which whirled quickly around the room. Try changing the shape of your device, she suggested. Something like this could really move through the flames. Wasabi nodded in agreement, and if you fit the disc with laser beams, it can go directly to the source of the fire. Honey, hugged Hi Hero, I think I know the missing chemical too. Baymax, may I have a glass of milk? She poured the milk into a test tube. Enzymes. Hero's device flew through the air, using its lasers to find the source of the first fire. It sprayed a white liquid over it. Then it raced to put out the other fire. Within seconds, the ember died and the smoke cleared. The, the device had done its job perfectly. It was like there had never even been any flames. Yes, Gogo shouted, pumping her fist in the air. Honey jumped up and down excitedly. Wasabi and Fred high-fived each other. Hero grinned. Baymax, milk for everyone. He raised his glass in a toast. To the best friend a guy could ask for, he turned to Baymax. Especially you, he whispered. As the sun began to rise, Hero yawned. He said goodnight to his friends, and then, with Baymax at his side, he trudged home. Exhausted, Hero fell into bed. Hey, buddy. Might be a good time for you to recharge, too, he told Baymax. Satisfied, Baymax stepped into the, his case to recharge. He had done his job. The end.